You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by. It is Halloween 2020, and this is the last video for my series. This is the Wilton Ready to Build Creepin' It Real Chocolate House Kit. Now, hopefully you enjoyed all the videos over the week. Did you have a favorite, or this might be your favorite? Let me know in the comment section. It says it comes with everything you see here. Now, does it all have like that purple base? I mean, it's completely covered in purple. So do they give you all that purple? We shall see. I'm guessing that is a lot of purple. Now, they show three piping bags in the bottom right corner, then some little sprinkles, little, like little dog bones and skulls, spiders, and then the actual kit... 14 pieces. Let me turn the box to the side. Oh, there we go. Much better picture. Uh, kit includes six pre-baked chocolate cookie panels, one pre-baked chocolate spider cookie, ready to use icing, black, purple, and white, one type of candy, three decorating bags. You will need cornstarch for smoothing icing, small angled spatula or butter knife, for smoothing icing. Okay, so you can do a little design work there. Allow two to three hours for drying. Let's see, okay, there's all the nutritional facts and information. And there are the instructions. All right, it looks like there's gonna be some fun time here and me decorating, you know, I'm not the best at decorating, but I'll give it uh, my all here. We shall see, let me get this out of the box. I'll do a little quick camera angle change, top down so we can see it as everything comes out of the box. All right, here we go. Zoom out. All right, fortunately, now sometimes I buy two kits just in case like the cookie looks cracked. I think we're good. All right, so the cookie looks good. And then here is the icing. Yeah, that looks like quite a bit of the black. Here's the sprinkle or what you ever would call them and a little bit of white. So there's a lot less white, quite a bit of purple. Now the purple here is much darker than the purple on the box. And then in the little icing pack here, let's see. Okay, that is pretty solid packaging on that. Couldn't even get it apart. So you're still thinking, have you not seen all the videos for Halloween this year? There will be a playlist link, if you can. Ooh, look at those, those are pretty cool. So there's little skulls, skull and crossbones, little bones, little purple stars, purple circles. All right, there's my icing bags. Now these icing bags, for the icing they give you, so there's a bag, and it's in another bag of the icing bags. Okay. And something's like really standing out in the smell. All right, so there's three very large icing bags. The cookies. That's what I smell, it's the chocolate cookies. And this black kind of has a hue of green to it, so maybe it just needs to be Mix. A lot of times you got to take these and mix them up really well. All right, so the base. Yeah, so do you think this will cover the entire base, this panel, and all the sides? Hmm. I have my doubts. But we'll see. I don't always follow what they show you on the uh, packaging. This looks like what I need to glue it together. Right? Let's see. Add ready to use icing pouch to bowl of warm water for 30 seconds. Knead icing pouch for one to three minutes until one to two minutes until soft. Cut small corner off. Icing pouch, fold decorating bag over hand to create a cuff, squeeze icing into bag. Unfold cuff, and okay, I don't need to do any of that. I wanna, I wanna build this. Pipe icing along bottom and front edge of side panel B, as well as the bottom and inside edge of front panel A. Join pieces so the side panels on the inside edge of the front panel. Okay, so that's going inside that. It looks like they're gluing it with the black. So I will do that. Uh, press panels together and attach to the base. Hold in place several minutes until icing begins to set. Attach remaining side panel B, then back panel A in the same manner, press together. If needed, use cans or jars to support pieces as they set. And then pipe icing along, along roof angle on front and back panel. So this right here. Now this one here, I don't think you need to ice. I don't think it touches. I've seen that before. Okay, so press and hold for several minutes, allow icing to set, pipe icing along top edge of C-panels at the peak of the roof, let house dry at least two to three hours. So they want it right at the top. They don't show you that picture, but I'm guessing along the top right there. All right, so let me get set up. Let me get some warm water. We'll get the black. I can't see why they need me to actually move this to another bag. Why not just leave it right in this bag for the first step? 
And then what I'll do is I'll transfer it to another bag for the more advanced steps of all the decorating. Ooh, that's so squishy. It's almost like a slime in the slime in the coconut. Usually they have you just, you know, working in your hands. I don't know if I need warm, warm water. I'll do that for five more seconds. Just feels so cool and squishy. All right, that's warmed up. All right, I'll put it in water anyway, just to follow the directions. I'll come back and I will get started. Okay, playing by the rules. The only thing I'm not gonna do is put it in a big bag yet. I don't think there's any reason yet for me to do that. Just cut a little corner off of that and use that. I did want to get these cool looking little sprinkles there so you can kind of see them. Take a look. Okay, that's not working. Okay, cut a bigger hole next time. How's that? All right, so that is that. All right, all right, all right. Last one. Ooh, cool. Look at those. Pretty neat, huh? And they, they glisten. They're almost metallic-y. metallic -y. So you get to decorate the house and the spider. Yeah. This is like shrunk on right here. I couldn't even rip it. I don't want to ruin my little chocolate structures here. Okay, so what we have is the spider, the front and the back, these panels are probably the roof panels and this would be the side panel, let's see, did they show you specifically, yes, C is the roof panel, so the roof panels have the little grooves and then the side panels are that, now I did put this in some warm water and then here's my platform, the platform Kind of looks like it has a like a wax on it, but it's still you see where the oil from the cookies kind of change that whole piece of cardboard. So I want this like this. These are these are at the end. So let's get this like this. Let's get these out of the way. They do want you to do this structure first. So they want it underneath and then this side. So let's get that going. Let's get a paper towel on that though. I don't want wet hands while I'm trying to do that. Okay, warm water. I'm just gonna cut a little tip off of this, right? Why try to push this into another bag when it's in a perfectly contained bag? All right, here we go. A little bit there. Let's just set that there. And then a little bit, oh, I could do it all on this. Oh, that's going to be probably where I have to put it now. That there, and that there. And then this, like this. I'm going to set the house back just a little. So there's more in the front and less in the back. So we have the bigger yard area. Same thing for this. Oh, <laughs> I almost squeezed it on the wrong side of the bag. Okay, and then this here. Let's squish this on. I have some supports off to the side. I have what I would call, I, I use these quite a bit. I've used these before with other houses. Makes a nice little support. Okay. There we go. And then now I just need to put it along the bottom of this, even though they didn't show it there. Well, they do. I'm going to do it anyway. Didn't do it on the front, but that's okay. All right. Then here. And here. Okay. There we go. The only thing I do want to check is that the roof panels are going to fit. Making sure that these side panels are in enough. Let's just see. I'm gonna let that dry. Yeah, perfect. I'm gonna let that dry for like five, five, ten minutes just to let it set before I do the top panels. The roof. Okay, there we go. We're all set. It's a little crooked on my board, but you know, hey, it kind of gives it that haunted housey kind of feel, right? Not perfectly square. Not perfectly set, 
And that's what I'm going for. I'm going for the offset look, all right? I'll be right back. All right, nice and dry, at least for now. Let me clean off my glass. I'm going to have to probably wash that now. See what I said about it, like, turning green? It almost looks greenish, right? All right, so when these are on, it does not touch, just barely. So I'd have to put a lot on there. I mean, I could do that. Let's just see. Let's just get this going here. That's a healthy amount. I hate to waste it, but that's just what we're going to have to do to make sure our house is secure. Don't want the roof to fall off. Roof, roof, whatever you say. Boy, this is going to really need some decorating help, let me tell you. Okay, there we go. I put a lot on there. I want this to sit. Ooh, let me just put some on the peak of one of these. Oh, man, again, I had my bag the wrong way. Let me put that on the this here. So when I touch them and combine them, they connect. Okay, there we go. There we go. Perfect. Aha. A solid roof roof. Roof roof. And I think I'll just do this and use up the extra for that. There, nothing wrong with a little help with the fingers. I could leave the back like that. Sweet. All right, see, it's like leaving my fingers greenish. All right, I guess I could scrape that off, but uh, I'm gonna leave it, it's the back. That seems to be pretty solid. Perfectly off-center. I'm gonna leave it, like I said. Not everything has to be perfect. Although I try. It doesn't all have to be that way. Okay, all right. I will come back, it says two to three hours. Probably won't take that long, but I will be back and I will start decorating. All right, I'm back. It's all set and ready to go, so let me start decorating. Just make some little loop de loops there. That looks good. Mm -hmm. One more row. All right, that's good. That side looks good, huh? Hmm, I think a little skull right there, and a little skull right there. Mm, starting to take shape. All right, let me do the other side. Almost done with that side. A few more accoutrements there. Hmm, I think that little green one would be good. Yeah, let me grab that one. Mm -hmm. All right. Hmm, I guess I'm being a little less careful on this side and just throwing them out. Yeah, okay, that one looks good there. Yeah, I'll put that one there and that one there. I wonder if the ridge line needs something on there. How about black? I'll do that in black. Yeah, little squishy blobs. I like that.
Yeah, I'm gonna make it so that it just hangs off the edge. It looks like it's it's dripping down. Yeah, I like that. Maybe I should turn it around. Mm -hmm. All right, let me get this side. Can hear me. Okay. Well, now that that's done, let me do the top edge. I think I want a little puffier. I think I should have done that a little puffier. black spider on the front. That's a good idea. Did they see my hand? Okay, good. I know I'm good at spider webs. Let me do some spider webs after this. That would look good. cut that tip a little bit more. Maybe I should turn it this way. if I could put like a big plop in the middle and put one of my spiders there. Yeah, that looks very spider webby. Yeah, spider. I mean, uh, it's gone. Somebody used a spider when they weren't supposed to.
It's looking really good. My decorating skills have improved since the last video. What does everybody think? Am I getting better at decorating? Oops. Okay, there, I got the spider exactly where I wanted it. Oh, speaking of the spider, maybe I should decorate that next. Yeah, it would be cool if I could put a white diamond back on the back of my spider and make it look like a diamond back. Hmm, let me try that. I'm getting a little confused there exactly what I want, but, you know, maybe I could figure it out. Hmm, diamond back. It's in the shape. Oh, yes, that's it. Perfect. And if I had a little purple spot right in the middle, I think that would make it really cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Look at that. Perfect. Boy, am I getting good at this. i got to turn them around so we can see. Oh. Hey, let me just do a few more things here while my decorating skills have vastly improved. running out of frosting here. Let me wrap up the white. Alright, little spider web there. Okay, little there. Now the little loops. Mm-hmm, getting better. Mm-hmm. Right over the little dog bone. Don't worry about it. I think it's missing a couple things. Nah, the back I'm not too worried about. But, uh, you know, maybe a couple little poops here and there in the front bottom edge. In the front bottom edge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What happened to this one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's right there, real nice now. all the way around would be great, but uh, who's, who's asking, you know? Mm -hmm. 
Depends on the full case that needs to be. Alright, this is going real good. I'm glad I've been practicing on my design skills. <laughs> Could do this all day. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm hmm. Covers up my black splots from earlier. Uh, okay. All right. A little more there. Mm hmm. Well, I think we're getting it. Yes, I'm getting better at this. Mm -hmm. A little bit more on that edge. And I think we got it. All right. I think that's pretty good. I might have to trim my nails. They seem a little longer than normal, but uh... hmm. Yeah. All right. I think I'm almost done here. Missing a couple little accoutrement pieces. Let me just finish up and then we'll call it quits. I think I just need to put this in right here to make like a final little like poofy spot. And I think we got it. All right, let me clean up and I'll be right back. All right, I am back. I thought I'd give you a quick tour around just in case. I don't know if anybody realized it, but uh, I was not actually doing the decorating. I know, it's hard to tell. Different hands, uh, you know, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but thanks to Audrey for stepping in and helping me, Audrey. Thanks, Audrey. You're welcome. I figured I'd give you a hand. Thanks. Uh, I'm not sure they noticed. Did you think they realized that I was in the background you trying to what? tell you exactly what I wanted? I don't know if it was that obvious or not. No, I don't think so. Something happened with the spider. But I think overall it came out great. I appreciate it. And thanks for helping. Hope everybody enjoyed the Halloween videos. And as always, until we see you next time, Happy, Happy Halloween! Halloween! Later! Bye-bye. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.